How you doing guys? Uh, yep, it's Monday morning here in Miami and I decided to go ahead and uh, do a live stream this morning let you guys know what's going on here on the weekend. Uh, actually Saturday we didn't do anything. Uh, my kids had a project um, here at home, uh, some, something they were doing. And then uh, by Sunday, actually Sunday we got up and um, we got up early, well I got up early and, and looked at the weather and it was sunny. So we decided to win and go on the boat. And I'm gonna actually, I, I did a little video. I'm gonna show you guys later on when I finish editing the video. I'm gonna show you guys the video. And uh, yeah, and by the way, I know you guys up north, I see the news, you guys are shoveling snow. But here, I mean, here has been 79, 80, 81. So it's been pretty good weather here. So like I was saying, I got up in the morning. Uh, I got up in the morning and um, and the weather was nice and sunny so we decided to go to the sandbar and i mean the ramp wasn't that that bad but because we got there around 11 and um but it was amazing by the time 12 o'clock came there was a lot of people i mean it's, it's amazing how the water is still cold and still a lot of people that go to the sandbar i guess it's one of the oh how you guys doing uh oh good morning uh from panama i like to see that um Oh, uh, MG fishing from Panama. How you doing? Uh, hello from Miami. And um, yeah, I mean the the weather here is is good. I mean the water is still cold, but the weather is good. And yeah, I'm I'm here on top of the boat because I had a little few things to finish cleaning because we got kind of we got late, we got back late. Uh, not late, but it was like around six thirty seven o'clock. So. Um, Oh, hi, oh, how you doing from uh, Cape Coral? Um, Alex, Alex Pettit. And and I decided to go ahead and finish up this morning cleaning a little bit that I had to do. Oh, St. Petersburg, how you doing? Oh, Petersburg, sorry. Um, but yeah, I mean, the video, oh, sorry about the dogs. They, the dogs go crazy when they see people walking on the sidewalk. Um, but yeah, it was a good day yesterday. Um, oh, Brayton, Florida. Oh, that's cool. I went up there once. Uh, good morning from Lake. Oh, oh sorry, the, the comment went too fast. Yeah, oh yeah, by the way, I still haven't figured out. Sorry about the dogs. I still, oh, Clearwater. I still haven't figured out how to make the, the comment stay longer because it only lasts about, I don't know, maybe three seconds. So I'm, by the time one comes up, I'm trying to read the one comes up. I'm trying to read it. The next one comes up. It's, it's it's kind of hard and confusing. But hi to you guys out there. Yeah, I decided to go live today because um, I haven't finished editing the video. Oh, from Dania Beach. Oh, okay, that's cool. I was oh I do a lot of bike riding up in Dania. Oh, from Texas. Okay, from Miami Lakes. Oh, you're oh you're nearby me then because I'm in Miami Lakes. <laughs> But yeah, um, it was a fun day yesterday. I was amazed how many people, uh, how many people was at the sandbar yesterday. It was a lot. Actually, you went to the sandbar and to Beer Can Island. If you guys are not familiar with Beer Can Island, it's the actual island across from the sandbar. That is pretty nice there. But sometimes it gets pretty, uh, it gets pretty rowdy. And actually, yesterday it got pretty rowdy. Um, uh, there was a big, big party boat that came. And you guys are gonna see on the video. Uh, I didn't really want to get a lot of footage of them because you know they were doing crazy stuff, and I didn't want them to get in trouble. So I just took little fast video over there. But yeah, well, I met up with my friend. Um, he was there at the island, so I tied up next to him. Uh, it, it was it was nice, but the water. I mean, the water was still cold. Oh, I didn't check the GPS for the temperature, but it was amazing. There was people jet skiing. There was people swimming. My kids went in the water. I got only up knee high. It was, <laughs> it was too cold for me. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna finish editing the video to, uh, in the afternoon, and I'll post it up, and you guys can see how, how winter is in Florida. <laughs> and yeah, like you guys noticed, I have, um, I put little extra speakers up on, on top of the boat. So, uh, oh, good morning from Arizona. Where am I seeing Navajo? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> and. Oh, okay. Uh, the shirts and the hat. Yes, I'm trying to figure that out. Uh, yeah, I got some 
shirts and hats made. Oh, from the Bahamas. How you guys doing from the Bahamas? Um, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to put up a, a figure out how to, you know, promote it to you guys. But in the meantime, as I'm doing too many things at once, from Texas. Oh, Texas, how you doing? Um, but yeah, no, like going back, like you guys noticed, uh, I put a little extra speakers up on the boat, getting ready for the summer. So, um, you know, the music, um, from DJing and stuff, I've, the higher the, the speakers are, the, the, the louder it seems. Um, so I, I put them up. So like that, it, you know, it's a little louder, but anyway, we always hang out on the back of the boat, not in the, um, oh, good morning, Alex. Um, we always hang out on the back of the boat, so I decided to put two extra speakers. And somebody just asked me how many watts do I have. Uh, right now, I have a little amp. Um, all I have is 600 watts. And I have um, four 8 inches and two 6 and a halfs. I mean, it's not no major thing. Oh, how you doing for West Palm Beach? Uh, James. Um, I mean, all I have is 600 watts. It's not a lot of power, uh, but it sounds good enough. And, and you know, it's, it's good. I mean, um, I could hear it outside the boat when I'm in the water. So, um, oh, well, somebody just asked me, can you get a t-shirt? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to get it to you guys. Uh, I have to talk to my cousin. He's the one that designed websites and all that. And I got to talk to him. And, and um, let me see, 600 would do? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I have 600 watts. Uh, the amp, so far, is, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, it's... It's pretty loud um, and mostly I play oh something else I noticed when you play off Bluetooth the sound is a little clearer and or clearer and louder than the regular radio or uh, USB I noticed that because actually you could you could uh, um, adjust the uh, volume on your phone and you can make it um, louder and it's pretty easy if you guys don't have Bluetooth on your on your on your radio it's pretty easy if, if you go to, to um, Amazon or anybody You're gonna see it's a little Bluetooth adapter that it costs like $39 and it's really good It's made by fusion and it's really easy to install. You can make any any radio Bluetooth your car your car radio or, uh, Your car radio and your boat radio so you don't have to upgrade to a really expensive Radio you, if you guys see I just have a little fusion radio with a Bluetooth setup and it's good. Oh Somebody just said James. He was at South Beach for two weeks. Yeah, I mean, people are still in the water there, cause I see the people there. And uh, oh, Alex, love my boat. Thank you, man. Um, yeah, and and um, oh, another thing about these speakers, but I didn't, I didn't connect them. They have the option to turn colors, but I don't really like that color changing thing. I think it looks kind of weird. I did it to my other speakers, and I'm gonna show you guys my other speakers right there. Uh, the two eight, in they have four eight inches. Um, but I mean, it sounds pretty good. I mean, my cousin, he's a little crazy. He has four 12s and eight eights, and he has like 2,000 watts. But that's just, to me, it's too much. I'm fine with what I have. Um, but yeah, um, decided, like I said, I decided to go live. Oh, how you doing from in, in New York? In New York in the house, New York City. Um... But yeah, um, yeah, I just had to finish cleaning up the boat, and it was fun. It was fun here in winter. How's the weather out there? Well, I think today is like 81. Today is like 81, the weather here, and it's, let me see if I get a shot of the sky. <laughs> and it's pretty clear. The weather's pretty clear today. Well, actually, yeah, I'm running around with shorts and a shirt. Oops. And there's a lot of mosquitoes here. Um, but yeah, I got, um, by the way, yeah, also people ask me where I keep my boat. Well, here, I keep it at my house. This is right next to my house. That is really convenient. I have a, I don't know if you guys can notice, I have a, uh, the corner lot, so the road's right there. And then this neighborhood here, usually the corner lots have the big side yards. Uh, what's up? Yes, Whoa. it's going too fast, you're lucky, chilling. Wow, New York City's 45, that's cold. Good morning out there, it looks like a nice day. Yeah, it's pretty nice here. Let me see, I gotta go back to clean my boat today. Yeah, uh, that's normally what I do. If I don't, if I get if I get home too late, um, I go ahead and clean the boat on Monday morning and get it over with. Um, 
but it wasn't that bad. I I tried to rinse the trailer though the same night. Let me see. Do you have coconut trees? Yeah, I have coconuts. Yes, I have like at least. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys my coconut trees. I have a lot of coconut trees. I got a real big one back there. Uh, I have like uh, well the hurricane. The hurricane, if you guys remember, it took down two that crushed the truck. But yeah, I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have 14 coconut trees left. And then the two that fell down in the front that I'm not gonna replant again because I don't want them to fall on the on the cars again. And um yeah. Oh, and it's actually I have three types of coconuts. I have the dark green the yellow and the like lime green and to me i think the most sweetest are the the lime green ones i have one two three four trees that are lime green and those taste really good and some of the yellow ones but i noticed <coughs> i noticed the lime greens taste the best but um yeah hopefully this summer we'll have fun uh i'm you know i'm aiming this summer to have more more pool parties because uh, maybe like four summers ago, I used to have uh, almost every week in a pool party. Everybody used to come over and have fun. And But for the past two years, since the weekends, i um, always doing something. I haven't done no pool parties, but I'm going to go ahead and try it again because I love doing pool parties. It's, it's like, to me, it's like being at the sandbar at home. Um, because I just let people go crazy, do whatever, whatever they want. Let me see, I'll try this thing next time. Oh, okay. Oh, you were at the sandbar too? Oh, okay. Yeah, actually, there was a guy, oh my, I forgot your name. There was a guy on a, on a jet ski that came up and said hi. Um, forgot his name. Sorry. But yeah, he came up and said hi. And, uh, oh, the guy that I'm that parked, not next to me, but a boat away from me, he said hi, and he actually lives around my neighborhood, but he recognized the boat from the video, so that was pretty cool. Um... Um, yeah, because I live since I live in the corner lot, um, you can actually see my boat over the fence. So a few people uh, they kind of figured through the videos that I live here, you know, because the boat is, is uh, I guess that uh, you know it's, it sits kind of high. But yeah, but hey, oh no, <laughs> yeah, I went out yesterday. Yeah, it was a lot of people. You didn't go out? No, no, I went out. Ah, okay, that's a Jeep. It looks nice, man. Oh, you have seen it? No, no, you showed me the picture, but I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. It looks nice. I want to get an extra step for it. And, uh... Oh, my friend just stopped by. I got a Jeep. Yeah, electric steps. Yeah, no, it looks nice. That's the one that has turbo, right? Yeah. Man, it looks really good. Have you ever tried those? Yeah, it was packed. No. It was a lot of people. Really? Yeah, it was crazy. The ramp closed like around one o'clock because my friend tried to get in with the jet ski and he couldn't get in. No. It was a lot of people. And the water was good? Nah, it's still cold. No. Yeah. What? All right. Okay. Uh, that was my friend that stopped by. He got lucky. He just bought that Jeep and it had turbo in it. So he got lucky. Um, I mean, not turbo, sorry. Supercharged. It was a turbo. No, turbo, turbo, turbo. My bad. I don't even know what it was, what it had. But yeah, he was just asking me about the sandbar. Um, yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. It was fun. I have video. I have video for you guys. Um, but when I finish editing, uh, what's what should you you name your boat? Fresco boat. <laughs> Fresco boat. No, um, I don't really. My other boat, I put uh, Fresco on it. But this one, I didn't put anything. Uh, this one, I just left the name of. Uh, let me see. Great channel. Love the videos. Thank you. Uh, from in from Indiana. Oh, how are you doing from Indiana? Um, thanks for liking the videos. Um, yeah, I, I didn't put no name on this boat. I just left. Uh, what is this? From where? Uh, General, uh, Luis Miguel says hi from a place. I was born in Puerto Rico. Oh, how are you doing from Puerto Rico? Um, yeah, I didn't put no name on the boat. I just left a factory name. It's a Carrera. Oh, by the way, those people asked me. This is um, the hall itself. This is a Carrera. And it's a 32 foot haul but then it has a where the engines go it has a platform of two feet so i don't know if you want to call it a 32 or a 34 because now now the newer boats since they have the platform they call it a 34 but the new ones um 
and the new ones are called 34, the old ones are called 32s. And what is ah uh, what is this uh, from Sweden? So Sweden. Well, how you doing from Sweden? Um, you know this is pretty cool. How many people view my channel? And I I like thank you guys. Um, it's pretty neat. Um, I because I started this playing around, and then little by little it, it became. Um, I guess a lot of people started noticing the channel. I guess because a lot of do most water activities, and it actually, I mean I I do the activities no matter what. So I just decided to go ahead and you know record because um there's actually people that i've seen you know that i've met uh let me see have a great day in the world got to go oh you gotta go okay <laughs> um let me see getting a video coming up oh yeah oh i couldn't get your name yeah i have a video coming up that once i finish editing today from yesterday you guys could see how the sandbar was um and um yeah i mean like i like i was saying no matter what I do those things anyway because I go on, you know, I try to go on, on the beach. If it's not riding bike, it's on the jet ski. If it's not on the jet ski, it's on a boat or at least just go to the beach because I love the beach. Um, that's what I call my church. <laughs> I tell everybody, well, what are you doing for the weekend? I say, I'm going to church. I'm going to the beach. That's my church. Um, I love being on the water. Um, but yeah. Oh, those people that also asked me. Yeah, my boat has a little cabin. I don't know. Oh, let me get over here. Let me show you guys. That's a little cabin. I'm gonna show you guys. It's a little cabin here. Good morning, Emmanuel. Nice to see you. Your videos are appreciated by watching your videos. I'm going to Miami for Labor Day. Oh, okay, Labor Day. Bring, bring my boat from Charlotte, from North Carolina. Wow, that's nice. Oh, actually, I met a guy. I met a guy at the sandbar that he was down here. He rented a boat. Yeah, I don't know if you got. Ah, can't show you guys. It's a mess in there. Well, yeah, I met a guy. I met a guy this weekend at the sandbar that he's from Lake Lanier. And I was up there camping one day, and it's really nice over there. I mean, it's actually, if you guys are not familiar, Lake Lanier, I think it's in Georgia. I don't remember exactly where it's at. But it's really nice. It's a really nice, it's in Georgia or Alabama. Now, I'm not sure about, if you guys Google it, uh, Lake Lanier. If you guys up north, you should check it out. It's really nice. The, uh, I went there because we were camping. And uh, we noticed this, this like a, it's like a big lake in the middle of the mountains. And it's, it's, it gets pretty pretty fun. There was a lot of boats in the water. Let me fix the phone. Oh, you gotta go too? Okay, you gotta go to work? Yeah, I gotta go work in a few minutes. Well, how you doing, Victor from Miami? Um, yeah, Lake Lanier is pretty nice. If you guys up there north, go check it out. It's really nice. It gets, it has a really party atmosphere there. I know there's a lot of pontoons over there, but I mean, oh, there's actually a company here in Miami that rents a lot of pontoons. And they're doing pretty good. Cause I see them out there. I see like five or six of them all the time. And there's always party people on it. But, <coughs> yeah. Um, we gotta finish cleaning up the boat. And, um, yeah. So, all right, guys. Um, let, me let, let me let you guys go. And let's keep having fun. And hopefully, uh, good, good afternoon, great. Oh, thank you for the good looking boat. Let me see. Uh, I'm trying to line, link up to go jet skiing. Okay, yeah. Uh, jet skiing. No, I normally go jet skiing on Saturday because Saturday the ramp is less less crowded. So what I try to do is um, I go um, oh, from Kansas City. How are you guys doing? Um, yeah, I go jet skiing on Saturday, and normally I go from all over to Nixon. You know, spend a little time over there, in Nixon. You know what? Next time it's a little harder recording video with a jet ski than than the boat. But next time I go on the jet ski, I'm going to take the camera and I guess I'll mount it on my head or, or something. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you guys the, the route that I do. Uh, hello from, I think this is, by the writing, is China. <laughs> oh, Korea. Wow, how you doing? Uh, I'm Korean. Oh, okay. From Ireland. Wow. Crooks Island. Wow. Um, and, um, yeah, see, I mean... This is Monday for us. The weather here is Florida is amazing. is is an amazing uh, is an amazing what do you call it? Amazing weather here. That's a good thing. Cause I see the news and everybody's up north shoveling snow and having a hard time. Uh, good morning. Good morning from Paris. Oh, it, is it cold? Oh, it's cold up there. So it's a cold. Oh, it's cold up there. No, it's it's cool here. I mean, like I said, I think it's 80, 81 right now today. Uh. It's a night in Korea. Wow. Oh, yeah, that's true because you guys are on the, oh, the bottom. 
Oh, how you doing from Chicago? Fresco uh, camera, are you using? Right now, I'm using my phone. I have a um, my recording camera as a as a GoPro Hero Five, and uh, my right now what I'm doing is using the phone. I have a Galaxy S8, something like that. That I this weekend I dropped the phone and I cracked the screen. Lucky it didn't crack the camera part. It cracked like towards half towards the bottom. So I have my phone screen is kind of cracked now. And let me see. Come fishing to the Bahamas. Yeah. Uh, well, I think this summer I'm going to get maybe two or three friends with boats. And I'm going to go over to Bimini. Because I'm a, I'm a little bit afraid of crossing myself. And let me see. Um, Ireland. In Ireland. Oh, my God. In Ireland, it's 20 degrees right now. Oh, from West Texas. How you doing? Um, yeah. This summer, I think I'm going to go over to um, Bimini. Um, over there. Uh, I just want to maybe get two or three boats and go with some friends and go up there you know just in case but um yeah that's that's my goal uh where let me see in paris it's minus four degrees celsius wow that's cold i think the coldest I ever got here in florida that i got this year or the past year i think it was 37 but 37 in the morning by the time 12 o'clock came it was already 75 that's the thing about florida winters is like you get up in the morning, you've got to put on a jacket. And by the time you see, do you do poker runs? I haven't done one in a while. I used to do them. I used to do them. We used to leave out of um, our Miami ramps and go down to Gilbert's and then the Tiki Bar. Uh, oh, from, let me see. Texas is beautiful. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I've been to Houston, Texas. Um, yeah, I, I, I used to do poker runs. I don't, I haven't done them anymore. Um, because just, I guess I don't, I don't belong to any association or anything. Let me see, from Aruba. Oh, how you doing? Uh, from Boston. How you doing from, hello from Miami, Boston. How is it up there? Is it cold up there too? <laughs> Cause I see the news. I mean, everybody is up, up north is shoveling snow. And, and actually I have a friend that's up in, I think North Carolina and she's up in the mountains. And uh, what was 41? It's 41 in Boston. Wow, okay. Yeah, here, like I said, I think it's 80, 81 today. So it's good. I mean, it feels good. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I have a friend out in North Carolina, and I see her pictures, and in, in, in area, there's just snow everywhere. I was like, wow. Uh, from West Virginia, how you doing? From the next to South Padre Island. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to see. Let me see. Great lifestyle, brother. Well, I tried to. Believe it or not, when I was younger, actually, I did it backwards. Uh, you know, when you're young, you want to party and, and do a lot of fun things. I was backwards. When I was young, I had like three jobs. And I always been in real estate. And, and, and I mean, real estate helped me a lot. But I had three jobs when I was young. All my friends would be hanging out, having fun while I, while I was working. Because, oh, how you doing from Australia? And um, actually, because I said to myself, once I have my kids, I don't, I want to be around my kids. I didn't want to work so much. So, while I, all my friends were partying, having fun, I was working, working, you know, two, three jobs, and always doing real estate construction. Uh, I worked construction for like maybe three or four years. I did mechanics. Um, I mean, I did a lot of things, but mainly I kept real estate as a, as my main income because that's a that's an income that you can never go wrong and then uh, i actually got lucky because uh the real estate boom you know i kind of rolled the wave and we did good me and my father we, since we really were investing in real estate and then we worked a lot of with a lot of contractors so we did really good in real estate and uh, <coughs> and um and then we you know we did good and then right now we're comfortable so i still do real estate not a salesman, but I actually buy and sell properties on my own. You know, um, I buy like fixer uppers and, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you for the God bless. Um, so that's for mainly my income, my real estate. And I mean, the music is a extra money. I mean, it's, it's, it's easy. Plus I love music. I always been doing music all my life. Uh, that's not something I used to do. I used to have a regular job during the week and on the weekends I would have a party on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And um, and just with that and every money I had, I invested in real estate. My first 
Uh, I think I bought my first house when I was, I think, I would like to say 20. I bought, it was a triplex that I bought. It was a fixer upper um, that I bought. And then I, me, me and my cousin and my father, we, we redid, well, me and my cousin mainly, but my father helped a little bit. We redid the whole inside of the, of the triplex and then I rented out all three units. And I was, now I was getting extra income from the rentals, my jobs, and then the next, next money, I, you know, next money I got, I bought another uh, triplex. So like that, just been living off of real estate. And uh, right now just, you know, collect rent and mortgages. So that's my main income. And the music and everything else that I do on the side is extra money. And then my wife, my wife has a good job too. I mean, um, she went to school and she's a um, um, sonogrammer. Let me see, uh, the tower speaker, the, uh, well, the two tower speakers that I just put on, they're really good. It's actually, it makes the, it makes the sound travel higher. So by DJing, I noticed the higher you put the speaker, the louder it sounds without you putting extra power. So I didn't really change the amp or anything. I just went and put the tower speakers and the radio just, it sounds really loud now. Like before, I guess, the, the sound stays inside the gunnel. So when I put the tower speakers this weekend, that I put it on last weekend, um, uh, what do you call it? They, they sound good. And um, yeah, I mean, it's something you guys, if, if you guys have a boat and you're thinking about putting tower speakers, do it because it makes the radio sound really loud. You know, you, you don't have to change the amp or anything. Just connect it and, and you'll see that the sound is louder. Um, but yeah, uh, let me go back to finishing up the little details on the boat. And uh, what is my, my next boat? Well, my next boat, I have a dilemma. It's uh, because I kind of want to stay now. I want to stay on, on the water. So I want something that has a bathroom, beds, air conditioner, and water heater. So that's my dilemma. But those boats tend to go right slow and waste a lot of gas. Versus uh, the center console speed boats, they waste less gas and you can carry more people. And you, when you go fishing, you don't have to worry about the cushions. So that's my dilemma. I don't know if to go ahead and get another center console or get like a, a cruiser. So that's that's why I haven't changed this boat yet. Because normally, oh, it's another thing I do. I buy boats. I mean, if I got to say that's another way of income that I have. I buy boats that need work and I go ahead and, you know, do the work. I do the interior, paint job, uh, rigging. That I do myself too, because I used to do that back in the day. Um, I mean, Steak 4200, yeah, I wish. They're like 600,000. I can't afford that. <laughs> They're nice though. There was actually, oh, there was actually a deep impact next to me on the sandbar, and it had four uh, 400s, and it was gray and black, just like mine, gray and black. But it was super nice. Uh, I think that one had like maybe a 12 foot beam. I mean, it was really nice. But, um, yes, yeah, another thing I used to do back in the days, um, well, the trick parting out from boats, I don't, I don't, I don't understand that question, the trick about parting out boats. That's another thing I used to do. Well, another source of income I used to have, I used, that I still do anyway. I get, I buy the boats, um, you know, that, that people don't take care of them. I go ahead and, you know, buy them cheap. I go ahead, do the interior, the rigging, paint them. And I use them for a while and I go ahead and resell it and make a little profit. Um, that's another way I, I do extra income. And that, that's the best income I like uh, because I enjoy the boat for like a year, you know, and then I, I put it for sale. But I haven't sold this one because I haven't found a boat. Actually, I haven't found a, a right price boat. And um, and this one's actually, I'm amazed. The right's pretty good. And one thing I do like about this boat is that. I could have everybody to one side leaning and the boat doesn't lean over. That's one thing I do like about this boat because it's so wide. The other boats I had before, they were more narrow, they were narrow. So every time everybody get, will get to one side of the boat, the boat will ride sideways. This is the thing about this boat, it's so fat. I guess why it is, I think it's 9.6 beam. But the design of the hull is so um, like different 
that it's very very stable uh, it's not that fast but it's very stable on the water like yesterday when I was uh, was it yesterday yeah when I was parked next to my friend let me see uh, the trick of having AC gas spins yeah I know I know the AC um, uh, I'm sorry I'm going back and forth but I'm trying to answer the people's question what is the length of your boat my boat right now just to haul is 32 and then with the platform another two feet so it's a 34 but the titles are 32 but the newer boats now they include platform and haul so they they will be considered a 34 but this is uh, yeah guys i don't know what just happened youtube went crazy <laughs> uh oh look who it is it's shape your curve fitness <laughs> you love my channel or <laughs> i bet you better do love my channel no, i'm just kidding that was my wife i guess she noticed i was live so she got on the <laughs> she got on the on the live stream too yeah i know it went offline i don't know what happened uh somebody just asked me if i'm cuban yeah i'm cuban um cuban raised up in for lot of them so that's why a lot of people say why do you don't talk spanish it's because i do talk spanish the problem is i was i was raised up in in for lot of and then at the time i was raised and for a lot of them, there wasn't that many Spanish-speaking people. The only ones I spoke Spanish to was my dad, dad and mom. Uh, other than that, all my friends, school, everything was in English. So, you know, I just got accustomed to uh, speaking English. I mean, but speak to speak English. And like, by the way, I mean, the the people that people that um, actually know two languages, you either think in one language or the other. You can't think of both languages. Like I think in English. It's like, if I'm going to say something in Spanish, I have to think it in English and then in my head translate it to Spanish. But there's a few people who say that I, I'm not, I'm proud to be Cuban. I mean, it's just I, I choose to speak English. It's easier for me. And it's easier for me. I think, in, I, I think in English and I do everything in English. So uh, only after, well, I've been living here for a while, but all my life I've been living in Hollywood for Lauderdale. So it's all American up there. You know, it ain't like here in Miami that you go to a store. And it's actually, you gotta know Spanish to talk to the people. Spanglish, yeah. I talk a lot of Spanglish. Um, but yeah, in Folado, everybody's, you know, that's the thing. Everybody in Folado, it's mostly, no, mostly no. Everybody in Folado talk, talks English. So, I mean, it's, but I'm not ashamed of talking Spanish or being Cuban. Um, but, um, oh my God, I've been out here for 33 minutes. Okay, this is the longest. Okay. But um, I don't know, guys. What do you like? You, what do you guys think about this live stream thing? I'm not sure if to keep doing it or not. Um, let me see. Do you have any rental of uh, vacations? No, we don't have. I have, I have rentals, but it's not for vacation. Um, I have rental property that that people been living there for the longest, um, and that's a good thing. I, I thank God. I have a, a tenant that been living there for eight years. So I mean, he, he's he's an, he's a good person. And I have other tenants there that have been living there three, four years. So I, you know, I don't know how to have to deal. That's why I don't do that much labor work, only with something major breaks like the AC or something. And that I could even do myself because I know how to do AC. I know how to do plumbing. I know how to do electrical. So when something breaks like that, I, I fix it myself. Oh, yeah. And like I was saying, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think about this live stream thing? I don't know. To me, it's a little strange talking to the phone. <laughs> but... And by the way, uh, your t-shirt brand, clothing. Yeah, I'm trying to start a, a let me see, love your channel, thank you. Uh, moving there now is the, see, the economy is there. How is the economy here? Uh, it's pretty, oh, how you doing from San Antonio, Texas? Uh, you're doing great, thank you. Um, yeah, the economy here is very competitive. Uh, so if you're gonna, I have my choice, if you're thinking about moving to Florida, go ahead and do your, you know, come here first, like, like a month or so, you know, hunt around for a job or at least something you're planning on doing. And then, you know, go back and make your choice because here's a lot of competition. Remember here, there might be one job opening and a hundred people applying for it. So you have to really, really, really be really good or really know somebody inside the business to get in. And usually that's how it works. Here in Miami, it's not how much you know, it's who you know. So you could be not a smart person, but yet you know the owner of the company or your cousin or somebody, you're gonna get the job. So if you guys are planning to move down to Florida, it's very competitive. So, you know, come here for a month and check it out, you know, do your job search, 
you know, don't you just get up and move because it's, I, I know people that come here and they have to go back because the job here is, is really hard. There's too many people in Florida. That's not a bad thing, but for when it comes to jobs, it is. Because there's a lot of competition. Like I said, there might be 10 job openings and a thousand people uh, so it's, um, you know, applying for it. Let me see, you should keep up. Uh, jack and trades, or oh, jack all trades. Yeah, that's true. I mean, see, I know how to, <laughs> I know how to do mechanics. I know how to do, uh, how you know, construction. I know how to do, I think basically anything. Oh, and, and fun, the funny thing is, my degree is an uh, electric engineer. So, but I didn't like that field. I started when I was young, young. I was like maybe 18. I started working for Motorola, fixing the their portable computers back then. But the job shift was at night. It was from 11 o'clock at night to I think it was like six in the morning. I didn't like that shift. So I, that's why I didn't keep pursuing my electronic engineer because all, all the jobs were at night. Let me see advice. Ah, that was too fast. Uh, let me see good advice and more you should do before move. Yeah, uh, you should, let me see, you should sell your t-shirts. Yeah. Uh, I should sell my t-shirts and hats. I don't know. I mean, we actually, I don't know. I don't know if to sell them. I mean, actually people buy them. <laughs> I do it as like a, a commercial um, promo thing. Cause I actually, <clears throat> I was at the store and people see me with the ham like, oh, you're a Fresco channel. And they were like, yeah. I was like, I guess they didn't, wasn't sure cause of my face. But yeah, when they seen the hat, they were like, they were, you know, they were nice. They were like, oh yeah. You know, I watch it. You know, you know your, your videos and stuff and i'm glad you guys enjoy the videos um i mean i enjoy making them i think it's fun uh, the part i like about the videos is believe it or not i watch them myself like you know maybe like two three weeks later i watch it myself and i'm like oh my god i, I remember i did this that's the fun part but one thing yeah i got one thing i do want to ask you guys is what do you guys think about this live stream i don't know it's, like i was saying it's kind of weird for me to talk to the phone <laughs> but one once you guys talk to the like in the comments like right now let me see uh where are you gonna get the 32 c ray yeah i wish the 30 i love the 32 c ray the only problem was it was 400 000. that's way too much and the, the thing about boating if you're smart never buy a new boat <laughs> um because um they're just too expensive if you wait like two years or three years once the model comes out you're gonna get a half the price or less so that's what i'm waiting for i did i did really like that 32 c ray with the triple outboard but it's brand new this year so i'm gonna wait maybe two or three years before i get it let me see experience a uh, great experience your your live stream well thank you i guess i'm not sure if you guys really like the live stream because like i said i feel weird talking to the thing uh let me see somebody ah it's going too fast <laughs> um um Oh, that's all okay. Good, and cool live stream. Okay, thank you. Uh, going to Miami in July. Visit my cousin. Okay, maybe we could fit, go fishing. Yeah, I mean July is always good. Um, July is always yeah, it's a good time to fish in July um, because uh, the weather is. I mean, you gotta go deeper because the water is warmer, but it's it's, it's good weather to fish. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's nice. You guys, you like the live stream. Um, I mean, it's pretty cool. I guess I get I get to interact. Let me see. Uh, to speak to you live. Oh, okay. You, I, thanks. You guys like speaking to me live. Um, the only bad thing is the comments go too fast. I gotta figure it out. I went to YouTube and try to figure out how to slow down the comments, but it's just it disappeared too fast. Uh, at least. For, I, oh, somebody just said I should. Uh, Manny Sanchez just says I should live stream once a week. Yeah, I was thinking of that. That's why I did it today. Um, because I guess you guys asked me a question. I can ask you right away. From Hollywood or Miami? Ah, I was I was raised in uh, Hollywood, and then um, I opened up a business here in uh, Miami, like uh, 18 years ago, and then it took me an hour every day to go back and forth from Fort Lauderdale to Miami. So I decided to move down to Miami, and then uh, three years later I sold the business. So <laughs> I stayed here, but I love this neighborhood. This neighborhood here. One thing I'm amazed about this neighborhood. I know everyone here. I know my neighbors. I know I know my neighbors for like three blocks away from me. That, that I like about this neighborhood, and and more or less everybody's the average of my age, and uh, that's a good thing. You know, everybody has kids here, so sometimes. Um, oh, I never done a video like that uh, about that. 
Uh, let me see. Question answer. Always good to interact with, with the fans. Yeah, it's true. That's why uh, I try to do the live stream. But yeah, something I, ne I have that I've done for my kids that I used to play when I was little is box ball. So I actually drew a box ball in the in, the, in front of my house. And sometimes I have like 15, 20 kids playing box ball in front of my house. Then I've never done a video of that. Maybe I should. But yeah, the kids come over and um, they play box ball. They play baseball on the street. And that's good though because I used to do that when I was young. So I like my kids to do experience that too. Uh, I want to talk with you slow motion so you can answer everyone. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's kind of hard to answer everyone. Somebody just put uh, I should do slow motion <laughs> so I can answer everybody. Yeah. I'm from, I'm Japanese. Okay. How you doing from, I guess, Japan if you're Japanese. Um, uh, but yeah, it's fun. Why not? Um, yeah, that's uh, another neighbor. Uh, that's a good thing here. I know everybody and everybody knows me and we kind of help each other. Um, actually, the day of the hurricane, um, when my truck got crushed by the coconut tree, a neighbor actually came over and said if he wanted to, if I wanted to use his truck to remove all the debris out of, out of the truck. And that was really nice uh, that he was going to let me use his truck. I didn't use it, though. I just piled it up on the side and wait for the county to pick up the garbage. But, guys, I happen to see from... I have good Spanglish, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, I had a good time here. Um, yeah, Miami. Miami, it's a really fun place to be. I mean, it depends where you go and what time you go and what time of the year you go. Miami is always fun. There's always a party everywhere. Um, hello from Delaware. How you doing? Um, okay, guys. So I guess I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to live stream once a week at least. So you guys can ask me questions right away, and I try to answer them back. Um, coconut salad? Have I ever had coconut salad? Nope. <laughs> I I do drink a lot of coconut uh, water though, and my little girl loves the coconut meat, but I like the water. The meat I don't really care for. The the water I do. It's really it's it's supposed to be really good for your kidneys. I like it because it tastes good. Um, but okay, guys, I'm gonna try to do. Okay, let me see. Latin cooking and do some oh some more videos of Latin cooking. Okay, I don't know what's going on my you let me see. Where is the Cuban sandwiches? Cuban sandwiches? Oh my wife does really good Cuban sandwiches. And yeah, YouTube is going crazy. It's going it, I guess it's my internet. It's saying reconnection, reconnection. So I'm gonna let you guys go. But yeah, I'm gonna take you guys advice and I'm gonna try to do a live stream. I guess every Monday. Monday sounds good to me. Monday's pretty slow for me. And it's actually my cleanup day. I clean the boat, clean the yard. And then I do a little bit of work. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and try to do some, um, some I guess, uh, some more food videos. Because she does, does a lot of healthy stuff. But I don't normally record. But, okay, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, thanks for letting me know that you guys like the live stream. I'm going to try to do it every Monday. And um, good luck to everybody. And keep having fun. And how do you turn this off? <laughs>